Howdy. I'm Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted. And today we're talking about AI and 3D modeling and text to AI or text to 3D model, image to 3D model. And you can see I've got some poly mesh creatures floating around my world. Um, we're in Bedrock Minecraft, and you can got we got these little guys. We can push them around, and in the future they'll they'll s more be more active in a group. But I wanted to show show the progress and status of text image to 3D modeling. So you see this little guy? He's kind of cute. Uh, let's jump over and look at <clears throat> how we did that. So, there's two different sites I used. I'm going to show you this one today. Um, this is CSM 3D. Um, and here are some of the things that I was trying to do. So, here's a fish. And so, what we did is we put in the text. It generates an image. And you can see if we go to our spins, it looks something like this. So we get images, and then it tries to give you a preview of what the 3D would look like. And that would obviously wouldn't do well. And then you can take and you finish it if you like what it turned into. So none of these are all still previews they could still process more and this is in low poly at 1024 of course you could reduce the texture resolution down um and it's in a quad I, i've been going back and forth between um try and quad i think quad will be a lot easier to texture in block bench uh whereas tries are going to be a lot harder to texture but <clears throat> tries seem to form a little better so that just came from that photo. So we generated a photo of an alien plant. Here's an alien creature. I'm trying to make some like funky looking aliens. Remember, this is in preview mode. So now if we jump back and go to our finals, it took a few hours for them to finish. Um, let's look at them on the PC downloaded now. So here's the final version. And this is the basic texture. You can actually have the AI do another texture, but it costs more points. But man, that looks really good coming from a picture. I mean, just a 2D picture that says, hey, I'd like an asteroid. It builds that. And I can just put that in the game. Um, let's check out a few other ones that we did. Now, it's not great at everything. Uh, it's This is still first, third gen. So <clears throat> here I try to say, well, what about like a space station or something? Now, that one was supposed to be more like this. And you can see where it really struggled. But even then, I mean, this is still not a bad start. Um, but it definitely needs more work. It'd be fine if it was way off in the distance, but it's not great. Uh, and then what about like a space plant? Like I've been struggling with how do I do some space plants? And so this one is just a space fruit plant <clears throat> and it looked like this. Now, once again, <clears throat> this is the basic texturing. They really want you to spend more points and have it do more texturing or have you just go do the texturing yourself. Um, but it's not bad for a distant view. If I just needed something, which pretty much is all I do need. Right now, I'm using 2D um, images and just kind of faking it with planes <clears throat> where it'd be nice to have, you know, something a little bit more helpful. And then here's like a fish. And of course there's ways to clean this up and and do more with it. The other option of you know absolutely would be 
to use a full transparent. I really wanted a bubble around him, um, but that's not not easy. A lot of them failed on those. And then something like this, it really has a hard time with the blacks and the tails. So you could you definitely need to go through and clean it out. You can see because of how it was looking that it kind of messed up the eye there. So making sure that you have a portrait or facing image and they're in a T pose is the best option. Um, you know, something like this, if it on final, I think it would probably make some of that better. Um, but you could see where I was struggling to figure out in this image what's what. And so a lot of the failures here are me just learning and my fault. This guy turned out pretty sick for just like an alien creature floating around. Like, look at that. And this is still not finished. This is just the preview. I could download the preview and use it right here and it only costs like a point to do or something. So that's really not bad at all. Um, I think the the upgrade for plans on this is, uh, what, 20 a month? So about the same as everybody else. Uh, let's see what else we got. This one is trying for like some plant, like a like a weird alien 3D plant, have it glowing. It, it didn't do very well. I think a lot of it's just because it's all the same colors and stuff. So you can definitely tell that some things are going to do way better than others. Um, but in some cases, depending on what it's for, you just might not care. Like for the jellyfish or for asteroids, I really don't need it to be anything special. I really thought the grass was going to do better pretty well but it actually failed it looks like um, I'm not sure that's the only one that failed so I'm not sure what that means maybe it has to rerun it or something uh, but it it pretty pretty cool for just first gen starting out um, you could definitely just throw this in block bench and just clean up <clears throat> some of these edges or add a little bit more to them and just use them as like a starting base point um, or just to get ideas like I think it's just a great concept to get ideas of how you could make some of these some just completely failed <clears throat> the asteroids by far are the best um, you know probably because that's just a really simple use case but uh, like this one's still processing it's been going all night so I'm not sure if it will ever actually finish but I mean, it far like asteroid wise, that's just beautiful. And asteroids really are difficult to do. I know you'd think it wouldn't be, but every asteroid needs to be randomly, in essence, generated differently. So normally, you'd have the game engine do this. You wouldn't even do this yourself. You wouldn't get a model of them. Now I know a lot of people saying, "Oh, Cyrax AI is ruining the universe." I use I pay for assets. I pay a unlimited usage for uh, yearly access to a whole bunch of assets, and I went through and I looked through all the assets that I could pay for or have someone do, and none of them are even close to this stuff. There's no assets that have space fish. There's no assets you know that have a space furry fish. It doesn't exist. None of this exists. This is all coming from my imagination and working with the AI to create something completely new. Yes, creative. Something completely new and creative. I think these are pretty damn creative. Um, <clears throat> could I now go pay an artist to make this in 3D for me? Probably. But it would cost me $100, $50 a a model and I'm not even sure I'll use it or if it'll work um, versus I get a prototype and I throw it in the game see if it works if it does it does if not then maybe I pay someone to make a better version of it um, I don't know it, this is kind of the first generation of this stuff but I wanted to at least show what the state is of it and how far we've gotten um, Let's see, do I have, <clears throat> Meshi is the other one. I said I wasn't going to show it, but I guess I will. So Meshi, I tried to ha I tried to take my pirate ship and have it, wait, no, I tried to have it 
make a pirate ship? I can't remember. I think I tried to have it texture my... No, this is text to voxel. I did two of them. I also tried to have it do my... Um... I don't know. It's really costly. Ugh. I don't want to answer this right now. What the hell? Stop. Don't force shit like this on on your customers. I'm recording a video right now. Oh my gosh. Stop. Stop it. Assholes. And they gave me 200 points for filling it out. Dicks. Okay, so let's go back to this one. So now here, I took and I just did the same thing. I said text to 3D and I said I want a colorful space animal. Okay, so there's our colorful space animal. And then, huh. How did I get it to be so cool though? Because it's way cooler in the game than that. Look how sick he looks. I mean, he's got big old eyeballs and everything. Um. Uh. Hmm. Huh. Image to 3D. Oh, <clears throat> I just tried the. Oh wow! Look at that. Holy cow! I mean, she's got a bottom bottom lip overbite, but I all I need right now is um, for humans. I'm having this problem where I don't really want to put full three dimensional characters in the game. It's just overkill. So this is just a two D flat image. I'm just faking, but. There's places when you get into here where I need to have people standing or I need to be able to walk around and it should be nice to have them be 3D. And <clears throat> this would probably be enough to give at a distance the illusion that they're a 3D character. I mean, that is sick. Holy cow. I mean. Wow. Wow. From a image, uh, that that is just an AI generated image. And it's definitely not perfect, but I mean, I only need it from a distance. That's impressive. Um, I mean, you see the difference between <clears throat> text, something like this. And granted, I was I was asking for low poly. So I, I'm not upset with these. I think these are fine. And then you have AI texturing. Um, so you can import the model. <clears throat> I, I'm not impressed with this. I, this is probably a bad test as well. And I did this a while ago. I'm not sure that this is even a great... Oh, here we go. So when you do it, you refine them, and then you keep refining them over and over, and they get better and better. So look at how sick these guys look. I mean, these are just perfect for what I'm looking for, for just space animals floating around in space. It, it, it really is an amazing tool. And to be able to do it in, you know, just a few minutes or a while and then keep refining. Like, this one has it to where you can keep refining and keep refining. And so you start out with something really basic and then you just keep adding to it. So we started out here and then we jumped in and we refined it and then we refined it more. And then you just keep going. And they do have a low poly. I switched to cartoon at one point because I'm, I'm not sure which way I want to go with it. Now, this one is $16 a month if you do it yearly, 
and then it's a thousand credits. I went through 200 credits pretty fast because you have to refine each time, um, which is 20 per refine. So I I bet you're gonna use a lot more than a thousand a month. So I would. Whereas the other site, I mean, I I the amount of coins the other site gave me really got me a lot of stuff. <clears throat> But you can see in here some of the content that people are making. I mean, that that's just epic. Even a dog. Now, the workflow for this, I have a video on it, but the workflow for this is you're going to take the model and then you're going to... Um, how I do it is I'm going to put the model in Blockbench as a polymesh and then as a general model. And I'm going to set up my animations, set up my base bones um, to do certain things. And then if you need to, you could break the tentacles off or one or two tentacles or whatever you're going to animate of the tentacles into separate geos. And then you're going to animate them separately. And then in the entity, you're going to just put them back together. And at some point, I'll probably do a full guide on that process as I do it. Um, but at this point, I have two or three different guides that show most of it. I don't show the animation of the, the uh, poly mesh. Um, but I think most people that know what they're doing can get past that part pretty easily. At some point, I'll try to do that. So that gives you a pretty good idea of how far we've come in image to 3D that you know, we've got this guy floating around my game. <coughs> and he, he's pretty nifty. I'd really like to have a, a, like a little, like a whole civilization of them that float together. Um, and then maybe some like particles coming out of him or I don't know. He's pretty sick as he is. Uh, maybe, it, I, I think having some color change where his colors like, uh, do some funky color changing would be fun kind of like squids do but that's way better than the 2d version um, I had before and really quick before we go I want to show you I think it's important I know there's a lot of hate out there for AI and hate for all that stuff but this isn't the difference between um, I would go pay someone to do this or not pay someone. Nobody's losing work because I'm using AI to make a 3D model versus using a really bad um, 2D model. It, the difference here is better quality games, not people losing out so here's the 2d versions of them where it's just a flat image and i just stretch the image and it's almost like more of a particle because it's just a plane and it just rotates to you or you rotate around it and it looks pretty lame uh this is one of my most downvoted videos now i tried to do box 3d and i tried to make my own and you tell me, do those look anywhere close to as good as this little guy? It took me probably an hour to make that guy and get him in the game, the uh, the boxed one. It took me probably two hours to gather up all those 2D images, put them into plane, put them into uh, different entities, animate them. I could have done that in one-fourth of the time uh, with this guy. He looks much better. He took a lot less time to make. And in neither of these situations was I going to ever pay someone to make these. They're not a critical part of the game. They're just a background wow, nice to have. I don't have a budget. If I can't make it, it's not getting added. So in essence, the AI and the text to modeling and all of that just made my game better and allowed me to be more creative and add more of what I have in my brain into the game. It didn't 
take away from anybody else's work. None of you would even do polymesh for Minecraft typically. I'd have to go hire someone outside Minecraft industry to do this anyways. So it's really an odd place we're at, but you can kind of see this is our first generation of text and image to 3D modeling. I hope you enjoyed this guide. I'm trying to just keep everybody up to date on the state of the industry. Whether you like it or not, you need to know as an artist or as a developer or as a customer of games what the state of the industry is and how easy and cost effective or how these tools are functioning and what people are doing with them. Just sticking your head in the sand and ignoring it isn't going to do anything. So... I'm Cyberox with Alondishly Crafted, and this has been a guide on 2D, 3D, um, image, text, to 3D modeling using poly meshes and Minecraft Bedrock Edition. If you have any questions or you'd like to uh, give your feedback or you'd like other guides or anything else, put them in the comment. Make sure to like and subscribe and, you know, keep those YouTube overlords happy. We, we got to keep them happy. Otherwise, nobody will ever see these guides. So, thanks for watching.